Hello, my name is Jairo Pineda, an audio engineer who helps out at Voice123. We'll be talking about common voiceover audio recording problems and its possible fixes. A link to our full how to edit voiceovers piece on our voiceover guide is found in the description below. Today we're talking about plosives. Quick definition, what are plosives? Why do they happen? Plosives are sounds that the hard consonants like P, T or K create when recorded. When pronouncing these types of hard consonants, we expel sudden bursts of air that are rich in low frequency information, and it could cause rumbles and annoying low frequency sounds. If you have plosives after the recording, here are some tips on how to remove them in post. We're gonna use Ableton Live 10 tools to fix them. We're also going to show you how to fix plosives with Isotopes RX tools. Let's dive into it. Here are two voiceovers I recorded previously. One was recorded without a pop filter and one with. No preservatives and sugar free. No preservatives and sugar free. As you can see here, the one without a pop filter has air bursts when pronouncing the P, while the other one doesn't. We're gonna work with the one that was not recorded with a pop filter. First, let's add an EQ and analyze the low frequency information. No preservatives and sugar free. There is an unnatural rumble in the voiceover. Let's apply a high pass filter around 90 Hz. No preservatives and sugar free. All the vitamins and no preservatives and sugar free. It looks like this standard high pass filter is working, but it could be better. Let's select the more aggressive high pass filter from the drop down menu. We can dial back the frequency cutoff. No preservatives and sugar free. No preservatives and sugar free. Nice. We can still go even further with this. Let's add the Isotope RX Deplosive plugin and set the frequency limit to 100 Hz. No preservatives and sugar free. Now, let's compare the original audio. No preservatives and sugar free. To the final product. No preservatives and sugar free. And there you have it. These are our tips on how to remove plosives in your recordings. Remember, investing time and resources in your pre production and recording stages will improve your post production experience. Comment down below if you have more tips and tricks to solve plosives, or if you have any additional questions. Be sure to check out our other videos in the series.